Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm sure everybody has heard this at one point uh, while out taking photos or talking to their family or friends taking photos. I know I've heard it somewhat regularly is that my phone will take a better picture than your camera. This comment does come around somewhat often, like I said, but what most people are talking about when they say this is, you know, yes, their camera in their phone might have be some better specifications than yours, uh, be it megapixels or like a new AI feature to help uh, with, you know, portraits or, or what have you. We can get caught up as a beginner, and I certainly, definitely as a beginner, got caught up in all of the specifications, buying gear, chasing the megapixels, and, you know, bigger lenses and everything. And all I needed to do at the time was actually just learn and practice some of those basic compositional techniques. So the composition of your photo is what sets you as a photographer apart from others. Um, using these compositional techniques is going to help your viewer hear your story and to feel these landscapes through your work. Um, with a good compositional technique, uh, the type of camera that you have doesn't even matter at all. Um, so I'm gonna cover two basic concepts of composition with you today. Um, these are gonna be the foundation that any photographer needs uh, to get started on and to build off of. Um, with these two concepts, I'm gonna give you some examples of how you can set up your own compositions and then to uh, help create the photos that you wanna create out of them using these techniques. So first up is gonna be the rule of thirds. Rule of thirds is the basic composition that most photographers learn uh, when they really want to start elevating their photos and elevating their work. Um, the way this composition, the way that this compositional style is used is by splitting the area in your viewfinder or on your image into nine even parts. Uh, those nine even parts are, are laid out with uh, two horizontal lines and then two vertical lines. Uh, think of like a uh, tic-tac-toe tic board um, and the grid that that forms. Um, how do we use this composition? It's simple. So the areas that are created by this grid, um, you know, you get four points where the lines cross. Um, so those are points where you can place your subject within the frame, um, but you also can use your vertical and horizontal lines um, to also lay out uh, the layers of your of your scene as well. So think about you know uh, being able to tell a, a story about your foreground or your background by using your horizontal lines. Like in this photo, again for example, the horizontal lines you'll remember were were kind of right about where the fog line is on here. And then again, right above the uh, second set of trees that you see kind of in your mid to, to background. Um, and then that was used to help separate our foreground, which is where that first tree and the tractor is, to our midground, which is gonna be the further trees and the tree line, and then our background, which is gonna be the mountainside that's behind it with all the coloring. Then also like this bird photo, you can see that the bird is on a stick that's kind of lined up with the vertical line on the left hand side. So this is how you use, use your vertical lines and your rule of thirds to help separate your scene. That also gives this bird a place to sit within your frame and then by putting it on the left side because he's looking to the right, it allows the space for the bird to then look out to the right and look, fill the frame with that look. So that way it doesn't feel as crowded. So the next technique that I want to talk to you about is going to be a leading line. Um, a leading line are an aid to your composition to help direct your viewer through your photo um, to your scene or to your subject. Uh, think of it as a roadmap to your photo. Um, your line should also complement your, your subject as well. It can't just be any old line. Um, you know, think of the bird photo that I had just shown before. The stick that the bird was sitting on brought you up from the bottom of, of the photo up to where the bird is, um, you know, waiting to take off with, with his lunch. So your line should take your viewer through your photo and have them land at that focal point or subject of your photo, uh, whatever that is. You know, your leading line helps you tell your story. So you can use it um, to help convey that importance or that emotion um, of your subject. Now to bring it all together, I'm going to show you this example here as a way to show you how all of these concepts can work together. So as you can see, this is a sunset 
uh, towards a bridge over the Hudson River. Uh, there's a couple of different things that are going on here. So if you look, the rule of thirds lines, our bottom horizontal line will follow your horizon. Um, so that's going to help, you know, denote where our foreground versus mid to background is going to be. And then we have right above it, the leading line of the actual bridge service surface taking us directly to the subject of our photo, which is going to be the main span of the bridge with the uprights and the cables and the little sun star sunset that you can see just below the decking of the bridge. So that leads us to our last rule of thirds line. So the subject is actually set off to the right hand side, which is just beyond our right hand vertical line. So by doing all this, this actually brings the entire photo together. So then between the line of the bridge, where the horizon is, where the bridge mid span is placed, plus even a little bit in the clouds, you can kind of see them pointing towards the bridge mid span as well. This all brings you to the focal point of that image in that lower right hand corner, uh, then completing the image. So that wraps it up. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate everybody coming along on this journey. Um, I hope you've picked up something uh, from this video and learned uh, more about some of the compositions that you can use, uh, or well, the compositional techniques with the rule of thirds or leading lines to help create better photos and help elevate your own photography on your journey uh, through, this, through this skill and hobby. Um, like I said, I really do appreciate everybody coming along. If you wanna give me a thumbs up, uh, and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. And as always, go out, capture some great photos, and I'll see you again next week. Take care.